Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 3rd, April 3rd. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, we're going to use this deck right here. What do we have for April 3rd? Keep in mind this reading may or may not be for you. We'll see what happens. What do we got? What do we got for the third? April 3rd. Hmm. Keep in mind the timing is fluid, so. Oh, well, that's nice. It's a much better card than the last two days. Beauty. Beauty. It's about beauty. We're going to read this card in just a minute. It's about beauty. Beauty comes from within. Really it does. Be, be, the, the most incredible beauty is it's on the inside. It really is. Well I guess we gotta take that one, huh? <laughs> Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. You know there is a miracle and a blessing. You may not see it. Maybe you do. But there could be a blessing in disguise that you, you know, maybe something has happened and it all happened for a reason. Now, now there's a miracle that is coming around and it's a blessing in disguise that whatever came crashing down, whatever ended, ended for a reason. There's beauty in destruction. There really is. So I really feel as though somebody is going to be getting, or they have received a blessing, even though they may not see it. <laughs> oh boy, look what's on the bottom. Have patience. And it's funny, I've almost posted this on my Facebook page like three times in the last 24 hours. I'm not kidding. I, I Love is patient. Love is kind. I was going to put love is kind. This says love is patient and kind always. And I keep on hearing that. I keep on hearing that in my head. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. And then I was going to post love is patient. Love is kind. But I didn't. I probably will though after this. Anyway. Um, yeah. Have some patience. Have some patience. That's a darn good message right there. Um, hmm. the best things come to those who wait right if you think about that empress the empress uh, has to go through pain to get her blessing so it looks to me as though somebody is receiving a blessing after encountering a very painful situation right so that's what we got going on here today You know, and this is a 13, and in the traditional tarot, the 13, we know what 13 is, that's a death card. With endings bring new beginnings. So I feel like there has been a really, really significant ending, you know, that is probably going to bring you a miracle, or it has brought you a miracle or a blessing, and maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe you don't see it, maybe you do, it's up to you. What do we got? <laughs> choices. Somebody has to make a complex decision here. They do. Somebody might be feeling a little confused about starting over, about taking a risk. I mean, starting from scratch. Somebody is confused <clears throat> about taking this risk. You know, you got to have faith. Replace that fear with faith and take that leap. That's what the fool does steps forward into the unknown having blind faith faith that you know there will be a blessing that comes out of this definitely fear with the knight of swords reversed we have somebody here that is holding on to fear oh 
Oh, but it, this is, the, I mean, Three of Swords reversed is better than the Three of Swords upright. This is letting go of the past hurts. going through a period of recovery somebody is going through a period of recovery they've been through a significant painful event right that's what this is but it's like they're starting to heal they start the pain is starting to release it's starting to it is, but this card in all reality says it is time to leave the past hurts behind that's what the card means in reverse it's time by the way, this deck is by Ciro Marchetti. Somebody is letting go. The past hurts. They are, they are doing it. They're doing it. But it's like, I don't think it's happening overnight. It's not. It's not like it's an easy process by any means. Definitely still some confusion here about starting over. Oh. Two of Cups. This is love. This is this is true love, right? This is true love. This is love. Take a look at these people. You know? It is. It's love. So, I think that somebody is, you know, they have an opportunity to get into some sort of union or partnership, but they're taking their time because of fear But there is definite attraction there, isn't there? Deep attraction. This is like a deep, deep desire to just go for it. And this says just go for it. Just go for it. That's what this card says. Go for it. <laughs> yep. Yep, definitely with the chariot card. Just go for it. Just go. Just replace that fear with faith and go. This is a card of moving forward, mastering your emotions, taking the lead, and replacing that fear again. It's facing the opposition. It's, it's taking that step. It's actually doing it. So I feel like somebody really needs to replace that fear with faith and take this leap. There's an opportunity to start over and have a very beautiful, beautiful union. Seriously. This is beautiful. Union. Okay? There's an opportunity to have a beautiful union here. If you can let go of those past hurts, let go of your fear and just... Take that jump. I mean, the fool lets go of the baggage. He doesn't take it with him on the new journey. He steps over the edge into the unknown with blind faith, and he starts over from scratch. With, it looks to me like it's a, a new partner. But we have somebody here that is not thinking clearly. We do. We have somebody here that's not thinking clearly. They're trying to protect themselves. But let's see what else we can get. Oh, Six of Pentacles. It's about give and take. You know, you gotta, you know, this is about you get what you give and you give what you get. You know, this is this is about getting what you deserve. You know, you deserve love. You deserve it. You do. This is about reciprocation as well. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, look at the discontent on his face. He is, it's like, we got somebody here who doesn't know what to do. Things are a little bit chaotic right now. Things are unbalanced. Somebody's trying to keep afloat, right? It's like, I'm just trying to keep afloat. I understand. I do. I do. But we have a partnership on the table here that is, you know... Well, we have a decision that needs to be made. We definitely have a choice that needs to be made. Do you have time for love? Do you? I mean, that could certainly be the case. Somebody may be choosing um, everything but love when really all that matters is love. And sometimes we forget that. You know, we let everything else 
take over, and that's because of ego. Whatever. Anyway, people say that they're all about love, but actions speak louder than words. So, anyway. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. We definitely have a strong attraction here, a strong pull. There's a strong pull to just take it. It's like, a, it's, it's very, very desirable. It's, we might have somebody here that is, is really needing some attention and they're wanting some attention and they're wanting some reciprocation and they're doing everything in their power to get some attention. That could certainly be the case. And the other person is completely shut down emotionally. You know, this person is gone cold, perhaps. because of fear definitely because of fear anyway I feel I mean twos are partnerships so somebody has to make a decision as to whether they want to choose I mean what are you gonna do this is this is this is everything but love and this is love I mean do you what's it gonna be can you handle both or can you not handle both can you somebody may be trying to decide if they can fit it in you know can you fit it in um, or can they fit it in? Um, there's definite, there's a definite love connection here. And I think that we have somebody here that just doesn't, maybe they think that they can't fit it in, but they can. They can fit it in. if they. Ma this is about mastering your emotions right here. If you can master your emotions and, you know, be the leader that you are, everything will work out. So anyway, I really feel as though somebody is looking for reciprocation. They're not receiving it. They're, they may be feeling some pain because of it. And I feel as though the reason they're not receiving the reciprocation that they want is because whoever they're dealing with is doing too much. They're juggling. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They're, I mean, they're, things may be a little chaotic right now. We have somebody here that... doesn't it's like they can't fit it in they just can't fit it into their schedule that's not love that's ego if you can't fit love into your schedule that's your ego driving anyway so that's the truth too looks like somebody really really wants to give to the sixth situation there's like they, they they really want to help to bring balance these are both about bringing balance to a situation it's like somebody wants to help but this other person is just like you know i don't know if i can oh another two now this is some some something being revealed something's going to come out some sort of truth is going to be revealed that may really bring about some conflict. <laughs> that's that if that's the truth, huh? I feel like I mean this is the truth coming out. Somebody speaking the truth. That is exactly what this is. <laughs> so if somebody is going to speak the truth, and, the, and it's like all bets are off now. It's like it's here. It is. It's on the table. The truth is out. Okay. And I feel now it's like a decision needs to be made. A decision does need to be made. And that's what this is. So I feel like we have somebody here that is probably having to make a very stressful decision as to whether they want love or not. Can you fit it into your schedule? Can you let go of the past hurts? Can you replace that fear with faith? Can you take this risk? Are you ready to start over? There's an opportunity for victory and success here. This is for triumph. This is a blessing. It's a miracle. It's a beautiful miracle. Somebody has to let their guard down and fit love into the equation. So anyway, I feel like somebody here is thinking about starting over. They're confused. They have a lot of, they, they, they want it, 
they want it. They do want it. They do want it. They're, 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 they want it. It's clear that they want it. But it's like they're sabotaging themselves with their own negative thinking. Not seeing things clearly because, you know, I don't know, ego is a factor here. It really is. And if you, you know, it is. And it's like this could end up being a loss. It could end up being a loss. Now this is, the Ten of Pentacles is a completion. Completion or an ending. An ending of a legacy. That is a legacy, Ten of Pentacles. So there's a family dynamic probably that has ended. You know, it has. And now it's time to start over. It's time to rebuild. It is. It's time to rebuild. Maybe it's time to start a new I don't know. Legacy. Anyhow, um, somebody's needing to be optimistic. They, they need to see things from a different perspective. They need to be open-minded. Um, I feel like there's communication that is needed here. I feel as though we have somebody here that is probably, you know, wanting, demanding it, pretty much. I mean, the Queen of Swords is pretty demanding. She can be assertive. She she wants the truth and she speaks the truth and she does not hold back. This Queen of Swords does not hold back. She is um, very forthright and she tells the truth. She speaks the truth. And I feel like we have somebody here that is is wanting some communication and she may be, you know, taking it into her own hands. All right. She may be deciding, I mean, this person right here could, you know, I'm saying she because it's she on the card and I don't feel like this could be a man or a woman because we have the man or the, and the woman here. Anyway, um, somebody may be getting cut out because of their indecision. This is indecision. And I just, just beware, somebody may be getting cut out because they're, they're not choosing love. So, whatever. Anyway, this is an opportunity to move forward, to take the reins, to take the lead, to change your direction. And it looks to me like we have somebody here that wants an answer. It's like, I, I just need to know. Oh, God. Ugh. Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. Very conflicting energy here. Very, a lot of conflicts here. You can expect the unexpected at any time from this woman. You can. Or from this person, whoever it is. Whoever you're dealing with. This person is very um, forthright with her communication. Expect the unexpected. Um, I feel as though this person... We have somebody here that is focused on loss. Not seeing this this true... Op look at this. Look at the... Look at this. Okay, we got somebody here that is focused on this loss. There's nothing in these cups. It's empty. It's gone. It's gone. Over here we have this, this is the two cups, okay? This is the two cups, this is the two cups. We have love waiting for you to see it. It's waiting for you to see it. It's right here next to this person. This person is like, can't you see it? Don't you want it? Then we have this other person who's just not communicating because of fear. Maybe because they're in, insecure. They may be insecure. Maybe they feel like they don't have enough to offer. I don't freaking know. Five of Swords, this is, oh God, I hate this card. I hate the Five of Swords. This is a, this is a serious battle right here. We have somebody that is seriously battling. They're battling with their thoughts and they're very conflicted and they're afraid of being defeated. I think that we have somebody here that is seriously, um, I mean, this is a card of ego. <laughs> the Five of Swords is a card of ego. This guy is, it, it is. You could look it up. This is ego getting in the way. It's like a, trying to prove something to the outside world. Trying to prove that, you know, I can have this. I can do this. I can do this. I can, whatever. I'm in control. You know, I'm in control. I'm, this is trying to prove something. This is, this is a big card of ego. So I think we have somebody here that is letting their ego drive 
unfortunately. And it's caused, it could cause them a loss. It could cause them an, a loss because we have this woman here who, you know, if you take, or this person, this person is, um, she's like, I want the truth. I, I need to know the truth. I mean, take a look at her. She's like, talk to me, talk to me. Um, she's very intense. She's assertive. She's wise. And she's fine on her own. She is fine on her own. She is. She wants love. She does want love. See the doves? It's like she's calling in love. She is calling in love. She wants it. She's been enlightened. She's wide awake. She is wide awake. She knows the truth, whoever this person is. She And she's, she's wanting some sort of communication. We have somebody here that is like, it's like she's, she's taking the power in her own hands. It's like, are we going to do this or not? Then we have this person down here that, I mean, unbelievable. Down here, you know, not seeing it so I feel like we have somebody here that is is crying over the loss they're crying over the spilled milk they're grieving over something that has is gone and you know we got this other person up here who's just like what's it gonna be and you know she's thinking about Let's clarify that card. What is she thinking about? What is she going to do? What is this Queen of Swords going to do? She wants a fresh start. She wants to She wants to start over. Oh, God. The moon card. That's what she's thinking about? I don't think so. Hmm. What is she thinking about? She's thinking about what's going on behind the scenes. That is, she's like, what's going on that I don't know about? She's like, what secrets? I want to know what's going on. She thinks there's some secret. She thinks there's something funny business going on. That's what she thinks. She's just like, her intuition is telling you that there's more to this than meets the eye. And it's because that whoever, whoever she's dealing with isn't coming clean. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. I think this person is is using their intuition and their intuition is telling them that something is up. Something is up here. Something is not as it seems. There's some something hidden. There's some sort this is a secret. There's some sort of deception here. This is an obstacle. There's, there's, this is lies. Eight of Swords reversed. That's lies. She may think that she's being lied to. Maybe there's another woman. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Maybe there is another woman. But maybe this other woman's already been released, or this other person. I keep saying woman because that's who I'm looking at. This is being released, letting go, giving up. So maybe, maybe she's losing faith. I think we have somebody here that is losing faith. Faith, they're giving up on a connection because. Their intuition is telling them that this person
is sabotaging. This person is self-sabotaging themselves. Somebody is self-sabotaging themselves, be, deceiving themselves. And I think this woman or this other person, they know it, they know it, they know it. But this is a test. This is a test. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, this is a test. Whoever this person is, I think this person is going to come around right now. We have the person here that isn't feeling like they're strong enough. They're not confident enough. They don't have the courage for some reason. They don't have the courage to communicate or to come clean or to come out of hiding or to start over. We have somebody here that just doesn't have the courage and the strength and the willpower to master their emotions and, and move on from something. But I feel like eventually they're gonna, they're going to. I feel like this person that is grieving this loss is eventually going to come with an offer. They're going to regain their focus. They're going to regain their confidence. They're going to regain their strength. And they're going to regain their ability to come forward. You know, they're, they're, they're going to they're gonna choose a new direction. This is, if you think about the emperor, this is the king of wands, but... You know, he, he makes a decision and he sticks to it. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to probably make a decision to take a new approach, but there's a delay right now. There is a delay because this person is, is, is suffering. They're grieving over something. But I feel like they are going to come forward. They are going to. But it's when they're strong enough. Right now they're not strong enough. Okay, they're not. They're not. They're facing some opposition. So we have somebody here that is facing some opposition. We have this other person that's wanting an answer, like, right now. And she needs to have, this person needs to have patience because of the patience card. And she's losing patience. She is absolutely losing patience. And I think it's because she doesn't know what's going on behind the scenes. You know, she's like, what the hell is going on here? And so she wants an answer. She wants it. She wants the answer. And I feel like... We have this person that just doesn't have the strength right now. For some reason, they're still dealing with an obstacle. She may feel like she's being lied to because of who knows what reason. But anyway, there's definitely a strong attraction. I think that this person wants to come forward, but they can't for some reason. Um, but they're gonna. They're gonna. They're planning. They're planning. They're bringing about. They're they're working on their stability right now. They're working on their security. They're making plans to move forward. They know that they have to do it. They have to do it the right way. This person is very wise. We have a very wise, strong individual here. But right now, for some reason, they are refraining themselves for, from starting over because of... Well, fear is big. The moon brings fear as well. And this is fear. Fear, fear. The Knight of Swords reversed is fear. a lot of fear. A lot of fear. But I think, and this is needing to replace fear with faith, and this is needing to replace fear with faith and take. So fear is hindering success again. In fear, what does fear stem from? Ego. Ego. So somebody's still confused about what love is and what ego is. And I feel like they're eventually going to come around and they are going to come forward. But I think there's definitely a delay because we have this person that is. Um, probably healing and they're not completely healed from a situation okay so they're regaining their stability right now um, but this person is is going to take action he is going to take action but not until he's ready and then he's going to move forward he's going to come in with something And it's and whatever he this person comes in with, it's something that it's worth waiting for, put it that way. It is. So for this person who is losing patience, you know, maybe you need to not rush. Maybe you need to slow down. There's definite love connection here. There is. have patience <laughs> it, it is it is a miracle it really is a miracle 
I gotta show you what's underneath the patience card. I just got to. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Do you want love? Or everything else? So I was saying before the battery died, you know, when the battery dies, that's a message. You gotta speak. before the love dies. Anyhow, what I was saying, I don't know what the camera caught. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Do you want love or not? Or do you want everything else but love? You know, I did a reading for a woman, I don't know, last week week ago <clears throat> and she was asking about love and then she was asking about financial blessings and she said well I can replace love with financial blessings you can no you can't You can't. Just saying. Anyhow, we're going to read this card now. This is a choice on the third. Do you want love or not? Beauty. Beauty. You are beautiful, special, unique, and attractive. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and felt good about what you see? Do you know that your features can literally change based on how you feel about yourself and your life? Your internal experiences are etched on your face and your body. People can feel your energy when you enter a room. When a person who is not thought of as being physically good looking or connects... Wait a minute here. I lost my space. When a person who is not thought of as being physically good looking connects to their own inner light, wisdom and warmth, the glow that emanates from within makes them extremely appealing and attracts people and opportunities towards them. Focus on what you love about yourself and allow yourself to shine. If you are challenged by how you see yourself, this could be a perfect time for an internal and an external makeover. Look at your face in the mirror. Acknowledge what is beautiful about you. It can be physical or spiritual. Ask yourself how you nurture your internal beauty. Do you allow others to see your light, your caring side, your kindness, and your warmth? Let your beauty shine through love. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody that is in the process of making a decision that probably has been, you know, pushed upon them, you know. And we have the other person that needs to have patience. And they're, they're growing weary. They are growing weary and they're thinking about giving up on the connection because of the whatever. But this is a miracle. This is a blessing. This is a love connection. <clears throat> and love is patient and kind. You think about that quote. I should have just, just posted it. You know. Love is patient and kind. You know. Maybe this is something you want to wait for. Good luck. <laughs>